Yo, what's up, Ludacris and Broticus? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. This is Studio Series Gamer Edition Autobot Ratchet from War for Cybertron from back in the day. And I was going to say, uh, do you guys know who Ludacris is? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. But uh, going back to this guy, it's been a long time since I played the game, but I don't remember this guy being in the game. Or Ironhide, or anyone for that matter, actually, to be completely honest. But granted, it's been a long, long time. And uh, this is going to be a no frills review, meaning like I haven't done any prep work. I don't really know a ton about this character. And uh, oh, the missile just popped out. Nice, nice. But we're just going to take a look at him together. And uh, out of the package, the background is great. I really, really like that. It reminds me of Cybertron, the base and all that good stuff. This axe is phenomenal. Reminds me a lot of Optimus Prime's, the, the same gamer edition. And, oh man, look at that, dude. Arguably, he has, like, the best-looking alternate swappable arm. Uh, the standard arm looks a little wiener, but um, everything else looks really, really nice. Wow, wow. Very, very robust. And um, let me free him from his plastic shackles. Uh, I get a bit triggered when this stuff is everywhere, so just let me cut away and I'll be right back, Jack. All right, so this is a fresh impression straight out of the box. And the first thing I noticed were these faux shoulders. What? <laughs> I had no clue, dude. And, and there's even a hinge on here. Huh. Huh. Is it supposed to hinge out or hinge in? Oh, inward. I guess it's a transformation thing. Uh, I mean, this makes him look nice and bulky. But <laughs> this, this is like he took off a t-shirt or something like that, right? And the proportions are kind of strange in that, like, this bit just juts out so much on the side. But, uh, I mean, it's not hateful, especially if that's his design. But, but boy, yeah, th that's kind of a trip. Who is this? It reminds me of um, Armada Megatron. I think that's what I'm thinking of, right? He has the faux shoulders and, and I think Laser Prime as well. But it does kind of, like, lift up and it does rotate. Hmm. That's not bad. I have noticed that there are some areas that are a bit loose. Like this, I can tell it's supposed to tab in here, but um, it just doesn't tab in well enough. It, it likes to slip out. And uh, I wouldn't have minded if the tolerances were just a little bit tighter. Uh, the legs are good. There isn't a ton of um, articulation. There's a lot of kibble that gets in the way, but you get a decent 90 degrees on the, on the, um, on the knees and, and then the feet. They tilt out, but this is real nice. This chunky kind of like leg aesthetic, that just looks really, really pretty. Something about this, the shape and the colors and the overall like space that it occupies. When I look at it, it's just very pleasing to the eye. And, and the foot overall, actually, I think is a very, very cool design. Legs, I like a lot. I mean, overall, just looking at it, I think it's quite nice. Um, ah, see, this bit just kind of like coming off. The arms have pretty decent ro rotation and articulation as well. Uh, there is even a hinge over here, and that's probably for transformation. Wheels spin nice enough, and uh, yeah, near universals. There aren't butterflies. Typically, a lot of toys don't have them. And boy, I just realized, yo, he got huge fists, <laughs> right? Right, like this fool, like, bow, like seriously. And then he'll patch you up because he's ratchet, right? Um, but yeah, you got decent, like, I mean, there's no ab crunch. This comes undone. Ha, I wouldn't say this is as much of an ab crunch. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, rotating waist and all of this. Uh, again, I won't touch on articulation too much unless there's something that stands out that is either good or bad. Uh, but that's pretty much him. Um, hey, where does arm go? Yo, what the? Hey, hold on for a second. All right, yo, bro, I almost threw him out, dude. I almost threw him out. It wouldn't be the first time, right? And so this, okay, just comes off like that. Yo, I like this, dude. I like this a lot. Huh. Huh. I like this, and I'm going to use it as kind of like a super fist for a combiner or something. Arguably, it's one of the nicer looking hands, and I don't get a lot of bots clad in white like this. Um, so that's neat, man. Does this go on the bottom or the top? What? Hold on. Oh, okay, I had to consult the manual, but it connects like this with the handle pointed in. That looks really nice, man. That looks really, really nice. Nice and proportionate. Ah, I wish this kind of stayed together a little bit better. This is really nice, and I think it looks better than... Um, all the other War for Cybertron bots that, that have been released. It's nice and proportionate. 
fits the character very well. And uh, I also like the fact that it has a handle. So in the event that you want to keep this arm equipped, you can actually wield it. Like Prime, you can't wield his blaster. You know what I mean? Like there's no handle in there. So that's cool, man. I can appreciate that. Really, really, I can. Um, and this nice axe over here looks a lot like Prime's. Very reminiscent of it. Very, very nice detail. Well painted. Um, I dig it a lot. It feels very Halloween-y, right? And um, I believe I saw that this can connect back here somewhere. But I don't exactly know where. I, I don't think that's it. Um, hold on for a second. All right, let me see. Actually, I take that back. That is the storage. And so it just kind of stores vertically. It, uh, well, once I can get it to tab in. Oh, wrong one. Yeah. And so, I mean, I don't like the fact that it's all hanging off of this. And this is probably the least secure thing. But, yeah, I guess, dude. I don't know, man. I think it's not very convincing. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Lots of great things. Actually, so far, um, Prime has been my favorite Gamer Edition character. This guy might be my second, dude. There's a lot to like about this dude. There really, really is. Um, I'm very curious how he transforms, and maybe you are too. So let's go through that sequence, okay? Alrighty, let's transform him. And uh, I might be just talking about some personal stuff as I do this, so uh, just kind of bear with me. Uh, so we start with this. Um, we flip o we flip over the Autobot symbol, and I'm just like, wow, talk about the attention to detail, right? So that's pretty neat. And then from there, we're going to untap this part, and uh, it's going to be it's a bit of a shell former, but not in a bad way. And, and so we're going to do that for now as we start working on the other parts of his body. Uh, and also, uh, I mentioned this in some of the other videos, is that big, 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 big changes are coming to the channel. And one of those big things is that I'm actually moving, and as a result... Um, I'm having to like pack away some of my stuff. And so there's going to be a point in time on the channel where I don't, I'm not going to have any content to like do stuff with, you know what I mean? Cause everything's going to be packed away, but, um, it's, it's going to be more than just a move. Yeah. It's going to be big, big, big changes to my life. But, um, anyway, I think I got this right. Yeah. And then after we do that, we're going to lift this bit up. Uh, maybe I didn't get it right. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah supposed to be like this there we go and that's gonna hug together because that's gonna hug this like rib section over here um but yeah big 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 changes coming to my life see that little slot over there it's gonna tab into that little protrusion and so it's all about just kind of getting the arms in there so this is gonna this is gonna fold back and you're gonna use that and so yeah, you got to bend it here slightly, right? And you saw that that I got it in there. And then from here, you can use that as the base to kind of get everything in where you want it to go. Okay, so that's really the most important part, in my opinion, is that you align that, that you get, uh, I'm sorry, you got to untap that. You get that bit in there, and then you give it a tiny little bend and a flex and a push. Then you spin and you get that in there. Cool, right? So it's coming along quite nicely, Kira Knightley. <laughs> Kira Knightley, she's still around? When's the last time she did anything? Doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> just making sure <laughs> everything is okay over here. Oh, that's kind of cool, man. It, yeah, actually, kind of looks like the thunder, the thunder tank, you know, from um, Thundercats. Uh, this front part is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, that part's going to all come down over here. It's going to tab in multiple spots, primarily right there, then right there, and right there. And so you can push that down, and then you can push that in, then you can push that in. And now everything's pretty secure. Let's clean them up. Cool. I really like the legs. I don't know what it is about it. The shapes are very appealing to me. Maybe it's because I have like huge calves, like it's probably the most muscular part of my leg. And uh, maybe that's why I'm like, yeah, it's a degree of familiarity, but it's nice to see. So everything here is pinned in by this front shin. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift that bit up. And once you lift that bit up, this piece over here is going to, there's a double hinge and so you're gonna rock that out. You're gonna rock that out and 
I'm wondering at this point if, if I should flip over the leg. Because, yeah, you know what? I may as well do that now. Because it's going to do this, and then you're going to turn this entire thing. And you want to do that to orient this outward, all right? And so after you've pushed this out on the double hinge, you're going to get this up there. And that little piece is going to tab in right there. And this bit, it's going to just kind of um, hinge down. There's a better way to say it, but <laughs> hinge down, let's say, rock it down or whatever. Same thing over here. You get this up. You get this out on that double hinge. You get push that up. Insert that into that tab right there. And then this, you rock it down. <laughs> and that's going to be the back of the truck. Now, what's going to happen over here is it's going to bend like that. That's really neat. I like that a lot. And then you're going to see this thing over here is going to fit into that negative space right there ever so perfectly. And you just got to clean it up a little bit. Um, but you're going to do that for both sides, right? It's probably better if I see from down over here just to make sure. Yo, my guy, why are you revving so savagely in the parking lot? You guys hear that? Anyway, you just want to make sure everything's lined up over here because everything will tab in together at the end. And it's important that you get um, all of that. Now, we'll leave these out for now. And even this bit over here, I'm like, wow, I don't think this was necessary at all. But yeah, they even have this kind of like locking mechanism there, which I find pretty cool. Um, and so let's start locking these bits up. We can lock that. And then we can lock these. And then we can lock that, right? You saw everything just kind of like, and then these will also lock together. And then afterward, you can tab all of this into here. And one situated properly. That's the bottom. Oops. Then we push this down and just clean him up and there he goes. It's pretty dope, dude. I really like the way he looks, man. Very, very pleased. I was going to drop out of the Gamer Edition line, but I just kind of stuck through it. I mean, primarily because of Optimus. I liked Optimus. Um, Bumblebee was okay. Barricade was okay. I had a lot of fun with Starscream. I like Starscream. Um, and this guy. This guy is very, very, very nice. Oh, and their storage as well. Um, similar to the other Gamer Edition guys. Um, and it dawned on me, I was like, I was thinking like, why do they call him Gamer Edition? And I realized, oh, it's because they utilize War for Cybertron in the Netflix series. And then the axe goes on top of there. Boom. And now this becomes like this ramming spear and uh, that's pretty rad. Um, yeah, I think the storage is pretty decent, dude. It's not too hateful uh, to me. And uh, if I had a better, if I had done a better job of tabbing this stuff, because I did earlier, you wouldn't see this all kind of like coming up. So it's not really on him. It's on me. Uh, but yeah, the deco is done well. This kind of like, it's, is it an eggshell white? I can't quite tell, but it works really well with the red. I love that little symbol over there. The red on the tires are done very well. Um, and it cleans out quite nice. Yeah, there's not too much kibble and random bits and um, it looks like a very nice Cybertronian vehicle. And this just fell off. If you're into Gamer Edition or if you're a fan of Ratchet and you decide to pick this guy up, I think you're going to be very, very happy. I'm pretty happy with them. And I'm going to continue it to invest in the Gamer Edition line just because of this guy and Optimus. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.